Here at Pocket Now, we've really gotten to know Nokia's Lumia family of Windows Phone devices, particularly the 800 series. A few weeks ago, we reviewed the Nokia Lumia 810 for T-Mobile USA, and just last week, we reviewed the Nokia Lumia 822 for Verizon Wireless. Today, we've got ourselves another carrier-branded 800 series device, except this one is about as close to stock as you can get, the Nokia Lumia 820 for AT&T. We've got a quick review of this device coming up very soon, but in the meantime, let's see how it stacks up against its Verizon-branded cousin. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is Nokia Lumia 822 versus Nokia Lumia 820. Okay, so on the left side here is the Lumia 822 on Verizon Wireless, and on the right is the Lumia 820 on AT&T. Different colors on our demo units here, but these do come in multiple shades. Now, these devices share almost identical feature sets, but there are a few differences worth mentioning. We're going to quickly compare them in three major categories, specs, software, and build, in that order. On the spec sheet, the differences between these two models are few and far between. Each is powered by the same Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 dual-core CPU running at 1.5 GHz and backed up by the same 1 GB of RAM. The display is the same 4.3-inch AMOLED panel at 800 by 480 The 8-megapixel cameras are identical, and each device supports both 3G data and voice and 4G LTE. There are a few differences, though. Verizon's requested customization work extends beyond the 822's peculiar shape. The 822 sports a 9% larger battery, double the onboard memory at 16 gigs, and a front-facing camera of 1.2 megapixels versus the 820's VGA resolution shooter. That last bit is probably the most visible of the differences between the units. The 822 doesn't shoot great photos with its front-facing camera, but it easily trumps the 820, which delivers rather abysmal results, especially in low light. Otherwise, besides some radio tweaks, all differences between these devices are cosmetic, something we'll get to in a moment. Now, what that translates to on the software side is exactly what you'd expect— Identical responsiveness in both day-to-day -day use and within apps, both stock and third-party. Let's launch a few just to demonstrate that. Get into the dialer. One, two, three. Instant. Let's get into SMS. One, two, three. There that is. Let's hop on into the mail application to make sure we can get in there. One, two, three. Boom. Finally, a third-party app like Twitter. One, two, three. There's the app splash screen, loads the timeline, identical performance. Uh, same Wi-Fi network here, just for your information. And just to confirm performance, we'll hop into the browser here. We'll let each one load pocketnow.com. Once again, same Wi-Fi network. Uh, this is not a race because the connection speed should be identical. This is just rendering time. But they are using the same bandwidth, and they're right next to each other. So this isn't a, uh, a perfectly scientific test, obviously. But now that we have both pages loaded, we can... See performance here, very, very fluid. The pages are in memory, so we're not getting any white areas or the modern equivalent of checkerboarding. Double tap to zoom in. Text re-renders just fine. All this very, very smooth, very, very nice. Very, very, very similar, as you might expect. Now, on any platform, nearly identical hardware will produce similar side-by-side -side performance, and that's even more true on the ever-consistent Windows Phone platform. Even the benchmark results went hand-in-hand, -hand, with the devices scoring within 10 points of one another on the WP Bench benchmarking utility after a fresh boot. 225.76 on the Lumia 822 and 216.02 .02 on the Lumia 820. Possibly the most notable difference between these two devices on the software front is the inclusion of the DataSense data management utility on the Lumia 822. Now, that is carrier-dependent. We do expect AT&T to get it eventually, uh, the DataSense app, on the 820 and other Windows Phone devices. But for now, in America, Verizon Wireless, the only carrier offering DataSense on any device, and that's on the 822 here. Now, the real striking difference between these devices is in the build. We talked a lot about the Lumia 822's unique construction in previous videos, but it's even more striking when held up next to the close-to-stock Lumia 820 from AT&T. 
Where the 822 feels lightweight at 141 grams, the 820 feels much more substantial at 160 grams. The Lumia 822's chubby build with its sheer sides and its puffy back cover makes it feel much, much thicker in the hand than its 10.7 millimeters would suggest. By contrast, the Lumia 820 feels thinner than its 9.9 millimeters in the hand by virtue of these kind of perfectly rounded sides here and its back cover that wraps all the way around to the front of the device, requiring no seams or chines. That wraparound back cover is tough to remove, as we found out in our unboxing video, but it also means that a user can change the color of the 820 with available accessories because the cover does wrap around to the front of the device. Although the 822's back cover can also be removed and swapped, its housing color can't. These white sides and this white chin are going to stay white no matter what battery door is added later on. Now, the 822 is the highest-end Nokia Windows phone available on Verizon, but for those of you who might be debating between mid-range and high-end on AT&T, here's the tank, the premium Lumia 920. Much heavier at 185 grams and with a thickness of 10.7 millimeters, just provided for reference here. Folks, that's going to do it for our Nokia Lumia 822 versus Nokia Lumia 820 comparison video. As I mentioned before, the Lumia 820 quick review video will be up very shortly, as well as the quick review itself. Check out pocketnow.com for that, and follow us on Twitter so you don't miss it. Pocket Now Tweets is the official account. If you'd like to follow me, you can do so. I'm at Captain Two Phones. That's Captain, the number two phones. In the meantime, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, please do so, but do it at pocketnow.com so we can get back to you if that's what you want. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time.